we were doing a pretty good job of, of winning games up until that point, uh, but they were a good team and that we knew he had to go in there and it was going to be a four-quarter game. I remember the play when Davis was rolling to his left and, and got caught up in the turf and, and went down. And At the time, I, I really had no idea how significant the injury was. So it was a third down play and we didn't have anything right away. Started to bounce back side, didn't see anything, felt some pressure, so I started uh, rolling out to my left. And as I flip, foot goes in the ground, I can just feel it pop. And then immediately I just hold on the ball, go down. More than anything, I was just like, all right, you gotta get up, you gotta get up. And I just didn't really know how to. My first reaction was, let's put a brace on, let's do something so I can get back out there. It was later in the game when I noticed, and I remember saying on the headsets, I was like, I'm like, what's going on with Davis? He's, he's not back in? And I had no idea how significant the injury actually was. I knew it wasn't good because there was a certain test they do, uh, kind of seeing like just a baseline test. I failed that test. And uh, so they, they, were, they were like, yeah, it's not smart for you to go back in. You know, what I recall of, of Davis during that last stretch of six games was just being around Daniel Thompson and Jalen Green and, and supporting those guys and, and supporting the team. I wanted to be the tough guy going into surgery, kind of be like, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this done, I'm going to get back out, and I'm going to just, you know, try to be around as much as possible and that kind of stuff. And people were, were around, but it was, it was definitely tougher to, to get back in. It's always tough to watch, to watch the games knowing that, you know, uh, knowing that I should, have, I should have had more of an impact than I did. I think just with surgery being a lot harder than I thought, uh, it definitely started off um, difficult. My quad actually uh, wouldn't wake up, so after the, after the process, I had to have a coach put a weight to basically hold my leg out like this. That way it could relax and things like that, because I couldn't pick it up. I, I couldn't do anything even remotely close to that. You know, Davis in, in the spring uh, was very good. I mean, he's, he's locked in every meeting. He's like having another coach around the kids. I started to feel okay. I, I, could, I could run and stuff like that, um, but it wasn't, it wasn't what I thought it would be. So more than anything, I'd, yeah, it was, it was tough again just to watch from the sideline because I had a lot of hope going into it that I'd be able to start get, at least getting into some things. So we had tweaked some things schematically uh, from last season and some terminology to try to streamline some of our offensive terms and, and scheme. And, and he was right there with the guys and, and very supportive and anxious to get in. Realistically, I only got about four weeks until the season, um, until camp started, to actually train fully. I think Davis has come back real strong. You know, he surprised me early in the season with his ability to, to pull the ball down and run and use his legs to get us some first downs. And, and he ran strong and he ran with some elusiveness. I think he's back there with some confidence right now and, and not thinking about the knee and, and playing football. I've been feeling really good. My, uh, the, the one thing last year is my, like I had a lot of other uh, like imbalances in my body, just, just little, little things like my back, which made my hips tight, which, uh, which I think contributed to tearing my uh, ACL. So um, I've been really part of the process and part of the rehab process was getting all of those things straightened out. And that's a big part because if you don't feel good, then mentally you get more drained. And so it's just a huge process from there. I would say if, if I'm not 100%, I am as close as you can get without being at 100%.